Hi, welcome to my video on the distribution property of multiplication. Distribution means uh, distributing through. As if you distribute a bunch of cookies, you give it to each person. Here we go. Monomial times a binomial. That's what we're doing here. That's a monomial times a binomial. Or down here, that's a monomial one term times a binomial two terms. That's what we're doing. I have a section A and B here. Let me explain. If you take the 4 times this bracket, in math we would go 4 and make it a 5 because we do PEMDAS. We do the inside the brackets first. That would give us a 20. But we can also use the 4 times 3 is 12 and 4 times 2 is 8 to get the 20. So notice the two of these get the same answer. And again, 6 minus 4 is 2, and that gives us a 10. 5 times 6 is 30. 5 times 4 is 20 to give us a 10. Notice that you got the same answer. Did you notice that the 4 is being, notice the 4 here, 4 is multiplied by the 3 and the 2. So the 4 is multiplied by the 3, and the 4 is multiplied by the 2. The 5 is multiplied by the 6 and the 4. 5 times 6 5 times 4. So we call that, this is multiplication understood to be here. This multiplication, 5 is distributed through 5 times 6, 5 times negative 4. 4 times 3, 4 times 2. So that's what we're saying. This is a multiplication. This 4 is being distributed through this addition right in here. Or the 5 is being distributed through this subtraction. But, if we have a multiplication sign, like all multiplication, we know that 4 times 3 is 12, times 2 is 24. Or, we could have 4 times, we can multiply those two to get 6 to give us 24, because multiplication is associative. We can multiply the 4 by the 3, or the 2 by the 3, and if we wanted to, we can multiply the 4 by the 2 to get 8, and then the 3 to get 24. But, what happens, it's, you can't take the 4 and multiply by the 3 and the 2, so this is a no-no, watch. You can't go 4 times 3 is 12, and say 4 times 2 is 8. The 4 can't go into the 2 of these, it can't distribute it through when you have a multiplication sign, because that would give us 96. If the answer is 24, I can't put the 4 through here with the multiplication. I can only distribute the 4 into the two of these when you're adding or subtracting. And that applies to this one too. I can't take the 4 and multiply by the 3 to get 12 and then multiply the 4 by the 2. It won't work. That's a 12 divided by 2, 6. So you can't distribute this 4 to the 3 and the 2 because of that division sign. I can't do it here because of that multiplication sign. So the distributive property, sum it up, A times, that's the times, B plus C, you take the A, multiply by the B, and you take the A, multiply by the C, there it is. And this is subtraction, which you can distribute, the A times B, right there, A times C. So this property, is A is multiplied by both of these, there it is. So multiplication is distributed over addition and subtraction but not over, <coughs> excuse me, not over multiplication or division. So let's practice the distributive property. 6 is being multiplied by these two, so 6 times x, 6x. 6 times 2, 12. x times x, notice I use the arrow, x times 3. Now remember, we practice monomial multiplying many times before this. I use the arrows, so when I get used to it, I'll just go, that times that is 8x to the 4. And that times that is a negative 14x cubed. So you're multiplying that one first, and then that one second. Here we go again, do the arrow, 14x. Do it again, negative 35. The multiplication is distributed to here which is a negative 12. x times x is x squared. Again, that's a positive 18x. 
remember you're multiplying, so you add your exponents. And multiply here. Positive times a negative is a negative. X times X squared is X cubed. Y times Y is Y squared, because you add. 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 plus 1 is 2. And we do it again. Think about it. X times this, so that's a plus X squared Y squared. So when you multiply these two, you have no more X to combine, so you just get X squared. So the Y times the Y is Y squared. Practice these four and see how you're going to do. And press play when you finish. See if you're right. Here we go. 8X squared plus 12X. Now when you got more variables, just be careful. That's a positive 10. A times A squared times A is A cubed. B cubed times B to the 4 is B to the 7. And here we go again. Negative times a positive is a negative. 2 times, that's a 1, so 2 times 1 is 2. A squared times A cubed is A5. And then you get the B. So notice, you could have, if you wanted to, uh, done this too. Just go back to here. You could have, if you wanted to, gone 6 times x plus 6 times 2, and then get your answer 6x plus 12. You could have done that. Again here, you could have said, if you wanted to, x times x and x times 3. You could write it down with the multiplication. x times x is x, and x times 3 there it is, and then get your final answer as x squared plus 8. If you find, we do this one, so that's 2x cubed times 4x, and it's subtract 2x cubed times 7. So either let that minus stay right there and go uh, 2x cubed times a 7, and so multiply that out, and you'll get the 8x to the 4. If you want to do that, go ahead. That would be perfect. Write it down. And down here, I'll write it down for you. So there's a negative 5x squared times 7x, and negative 5x squared times negative 4x. Now multiply that. You get a negative 35x cubed plus 20x squared. That might be better to write it down. So multiply those two and then multiply those two. So that's a plus. So 6x times 9x, there it is. 6x times negative 2y, there it is. And then multiply. So now you can see 6 9 or 54x squared minus 12xy. By writing it down as a double like that, then you, you can see it and not make an error. When you get used to it, you can do it without writing down, just multiplying your head. Monomial times a, a trinomial. Multiplication is distributed over. You can distribute your multiplication over addition and subtraction. And subtraction, I'm going to use SUB. So that means the A is multiplied by the B. The A is multiplied by the C, and the A is multiplied by the D. So let's do, write that down so I won't make a mistake at the beginning, in case this is your first time learning it. If it's not, then you can speed it up. It's your choice. Let's go 2 times x squared plus 2 times 3x plus 2 times 7. Don't multiply 2 by each of these terms. Now, you can see it in front of you. Now it's easy. So again, write it down. x times 4x squared. Subtract x times 2x plus x times 8. And that gives you 4x cubed minus 2x squared plus 8x. And here we go again. So this negative 2a is multiplied by each of these. So let's write it down, just to be careful. Minus 2x squared times 5x, sorry, 5a. Think about x's all the time. And a negative 2. 
So negative 2a squared is multiplied by each one of them. And everything is okay. I got a plus, I got that plus there, and a minus, everything's all right. So that's a negative 2a to the fourth, negative 10a cubed, and a positive 12a squared. Perfect. And you multiply these. So that's x cubed times x cubed. Then we have x cubed times negative 3x squared. And we have an x cubed times 9x. So x cubed is multiplied by the three of these. x cubed, x cubed, x cubed. That gives me x to the sixth, negative 3x to the five, and a positive 9x to the fourth. And if you like that, I practice these, press pause the video and work these answers out. Here we go. Negative now you can see that I can I can use my head now and go negative three times that, negative three times that, and negative three times that without writing it down. But at the beginning, let's write the negative three multiply by these so I can see it. But once you know what you're doing, then you could have gone with Let's multiply the, multiply positive 18x and a plus 12. But if you're used to it, you could have gone negative 3 times 2x squared, negative 6x squared. Negative 3 times negative 6x, positive 18x. Negative 3 times negative 4, 12. If you know what you're doing, you're going to avoid this step. But that's your choice, not mine. And here we go. Again. The 5x times that is easy to do, but I'm going to write it down. Why? Because if I do, I can see what's happening. I, I make a mistake. So what happens? By writing it down, the mistake is going to be less chance. Negative 15x cubed, because you add your exponents. Positive 35x squared. 1 and 1 is a 2. And that's a negative 30. Positive times negative is negative. 30x. Number 3, 4x squared y. Now writing it down now makes a little bit of more sense because you have so many, so many x's and y's going on. And uh, that's a positive. 4x squared times 3y6. So notice 4x squared y there and there and there. Now multiply. 4 times 1 is 4x6y squared. We add the exponents. Negative 8x to the 4, y4. We add the exponents. And that's a positive 12x squared. Right? I left off my y there. And so that's a x squared y7. That's a y there. I should have made more space right here. I stretched it, kept it too close. Negative 2x squared times negative 7x cubed. Negative 2x squared times x squared. And a negative 2x squared times negative 11 x done. Make sure you get it in there. Multiply 14 x to the 5. Multiply negative 2 x 4. Multiply 22 x cubed. x cubed. Again, writing it down makes more sense until you get used to it. Oh, and look at this one, especially this one, because there's so many. So here we go. That's multiplied by this one. And then the 10, the 10, A squared, B, C cubed is multiplied by negative a squared b 5c and 10 a squared b c cubed and again if i didn't write this down 
guaranteed to make a mistake. So there it is. 10a squared b c cubed is in front of each term. And did I write it down correctly? 6a b c 4 negative a squared b 5 c and 5 b squared c cubed. 5, right? Now let's multiply it. 60 a cubed b squared c7 2 plus 1 is 3 1 plus 1 is 2 3 plus 4 is 7 and I got a negative 10 a squared times a squared is a4 b times b5 b6 and c3 times c is c4 done 5 times 10 is 50 a times a squared times Oh, we got no more a squared to go there, so that stays. B times b squared is b cubed, and c cubed, c cubed is c six. Done. So practice, pause, and work these out. Play it back. Product. Find a product. Product means to multiply. Product means to multiply whatever you have. Multiply together. So that's a 4x bracket, x squared plus 9x minus 3. So the product, I'm multiplying. And as you're multiplying these, notice it's the, I'm going to do this one in my head. 4x times that is 4x cubed. 4x times 9x is a positive 36x squared. 4x times negative 3, negative 12x. So if you want to write each step down like I did up here, then go so. And this is an 8x. This is the second one, product, we want to multiply. And this one, I'll write it down. Just making sure. I'm multiplying it by each term. But again, that's... Here it is written down. 8x squared is multiplied by each term. So that gives me 16x to the 4. That gives me negative 8x cubed. And that gives me a positive 8, 7, 8 to 56x squared. So again, writing it down, you see it. And then you multiply it out. But if you want to multiply in your head, you just do this. Got it? Yep. So you can do... Your eyes are doing this 4x times x squared, 4x times that. So you can do the arrows too, then you don't have to. If you do the arrow and write it down, then you can see that you're not going to make mistakes. So you can do the arrows and get the answer, or you can write it down like this and get the answer. Your choice. You're the one that got to work with the math and make sure you know what you're doing. Let's multiply without showing the steps. Ah, now, what we're doing is, can you multiply these without showing the steps? Like I was showing you just then. Let's practice, try this too, but it's your choice. If you want to go 4x, uh, 4 times x plus 4 times 2, go ahead. But if you want to multiply without showing it, here's what we do. And if you find it confusing, write it down. Go 7a times a. Subtract 7a times 3. Write it down. But if you don't, just watch. 4 times x, 4x. 4 times 2, 8. 7a times a, 7a squared. 7a times negative 3, negative 21a. Negative 3y times y, negative 3y squared. And positive 18y. So by doing the arrow going over like rainbows, chances are you only when you get big numbers or you know a lot of terms. So x times x squared, x cubed. X times 4x is 4x squared. X times negative 8, negative 8x. E. Here we go. 
Negative 5 times that is a negative 5x to the 5. That's a 1. 1 times negative 5 is negative 5, and you add your exponents. Here we go again. So that's negative 5 times 1 is a negative 5. x cubed times x is x to the 4. And we don't have a y to go with it, so it stays. And then we go again. That gives us 1 times that is a negative 5, so I could make if I had a pencil, I'd be able to erase it, but a negative 5, and x cubed times that. We don't change them because there's only x cubed and a y squared. Your choice. Now, if you find this confusing, again, you write it down. Go a squared b times a b to the 4, and then a squared b times a cubed b. A squared B is put in front of each of these, and then you multiply them. Or, you can go over here and go, let's multiply these two. That's A cubed B5. And let's multiply again. So that's A5. When you multiply, you add. 1 plus 1 is 2. Or you could do the same thing here. So putting it in front and then multiplying, you'll still get the same answer. Your choice. You can do the arrows to get the answer. Or you can write it out. A cubed B5, multiply. A5 B squared. So the arrows, are, but it's your choice. Practice these now. Work these out. It's your choice what to do. But I'll take the shortcut because I like to go fast. But if you want to do it a long way, go ahead. As long as you're right. Negative 9 times that, negative 27x. Negative 9 times negative 4, 36. 4x four times x squared is 4x cubed. 4x four times 5x plus 20x squared. x times negative 3, negative 3x cubed. x times 2x plus 2x squared. x times 7 is plus 7x. Here we go. I got four of them this time, so be careful. One, that's a negative 6x to the 5. Go again. That's a negative 3x to the 4. Go again. We have a negative 18x3. And go again. We have a positive 9x squared. Once you get used to it, it's a fast way to do it. But don't forget, if you want, you may multiply x squared y by the three d's separately. But multiply x four y squared. Multiply x cubed y squared. Multiply. You get an x squared y four. But if you want to write it down, uh, x squared y times that x squared y times that one, x squared y times that one, then the chance of making an error is less. You do what you wish to do. As long as you're negative to negative positive 5a to the 5. Negative 10a to the 4. 1 plus 3. And positive to, negative times negative to positive 5a cubed root. Just negative one times that. And it says you got the video of pause again. Done all these out. So what answer do you get? Find the parameter of each as an expression using distributive property. Parameter using distributive property. How? Oh, I know what they mean. Distributive property I have one. These are all the same. So I have three of those. Because I could have, I could have done, I could have added them all up like that. You know, 24 and 15x. But if you say 3 times that, it gives you 15x plus 24. 3 times that, there's 3 of them. So 3 times 5, 3 times, 3 times 5x, and 3 times 8. And over here I have four of them, so that's four times x squared minus six. 
If you didn't, you would have to write that down four times and add them all up, but it's easier to multiply by four. So four times x squared is four x squared. And four times negative six x is negative 24 x. So that's a squared. So to multiply this by four is way easier than that and all those up takes less time. That brings us to the end of using distributive property. It's extremely important to work out the math. If you can work at your, if you know what you're doing with the algebra, then the, the math in the late, or next grades above whatever grade you're in will be uh, worked out correctly. Algebra is very important. I remember when I did the algebra, I started off in grade nine, and I was having a little bit of trouble, and finally. Sometime around January, February, when I was in grade nine, it kicked in. It began to make sense. So that's what happens with algebra. I tell you, if you practice and practice and practice, everything is okay. The more practice you do, you do the better. Click on your like button if you like this video. <coughs> Excuse me. Subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. Notification bell because there's more <coughs> more videos coming your way. Write a comment if you wish, and visit my math website, mathfullyexplained.com. And there you have three sections. Section on me, degrees and teaching experience. The video section has the teaching strategies you're going to use to help you learn your math. And the content gives you the topics and the number of videos of each topic. The black font is what's online right now. And the red font is what will be there in the near future. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.